Aïe, 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 aïe. Bonsoir la famille. Comment vous allez Ah, cinq minutes de retard. J'espère que vous ne m'en voulez pas. I'm like five minutes late. Sorry. Oh. I hope that you wouldn't mind. Yes. How are you guys? Are you sleeping? Not sleeping? What is going on? Are you ready for the new topic? It's nice getting very cold. Yeah, it's very, very cold. So, I let you come. Of course. Just a little bit. Yes. Oof, what a week. It's only Wednesday. It's only Wednesday. I hope I'm not going to talk too much. Huh? Because uh, you must be focused on the, the message. Yes, I remind you guys, today Wednesday, we're doing it in English. Yes. Only in English. That would be interesting for you guys to see a bit of my English talking. But after all these years in London, obviously, it's about time, isn't it? It's about time. I let you come. And then we're going to start in a minute. Yes. Yes. Da, 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 da. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should put some music as well. It's complicated. Hi, Sarav. Hi, everyone. I know I'm a bit late. But I hope this message is going to help you to, to feel better. Mm? I remind you, today, tonight, we are about to talk about social media, Instagram, Facebook, where we have TikTok, or whoever is there, we're going to talk about it and see how it impacts in your life and how, we, how you guys dealing with it, with this social pressure. Yes, and see what we can do for that. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to start. I'll give you a couple of minutes. Just a reminder that, yes, this Friday I wasn't here. Sorry. I was in Paris. So I would like to say thank you. Yes, thank you for my dear friends, Alice, to be always with me. Thank you for your hospitality. And also my girls from BTS. Huh? Lilou, Valérie, Monia, Lolo, Laura, <laughs> Yavé qui en tout cas, Virginie, am I forgetting anyone? Bon, quoi, all of you, I say thank you for you guys to make this effort to, to see each other. Thank you again. So that was the reason why I wasn't here this Friday, last Friday, because I had a reunion with my old friends, students from BTS. Uh, 2001 I think it's 1999 something like that anyway let's get started all right so you guys are gonna come along so then you know you can watch it in replay you can watch it in on YouTube you, you have the choice right so that's no problem so Let's get started now. Let me see because I have a lot of notes. Oh, I hate when I wear my glasses. My eyes are so big. But what can we do? Alors, what are we going to talk about? Yeah, so how are you guys dealing with social media? How? So I have some few questions for you guys to answer when you will have the time to look at it, to enjoy yourself. Remember, when you watch my mail noir, you must do something else as well. I don't want you to take a time just for the physical, but I want you to hear the message. I think this is 
more important for you guys. So the first question I have for you guys is how do you use hmm, those Instagram, those Facebook, TikTok and so on? How do you use it normally? Well, when I talk, I know, I know, I know, it makes some reflection. Okay, okay, okay. Only when I will read your questions, I will wear them then. Because when we say the pressure of social, of social media, I will go straight to Instagram, where we at, and also um, Facebook. We have what else? We have Snapchat. We have so many social medias right now that we're losing control. But somewhere we want to know what the hell's going on somewhere with your friends, your enemies, your friend enemies as well, your, your family member, the one that you talk, you don't talk as well. You, you have some of your old friends, rivers, your exes. Yes, and you're checking um, your social media to check on them as well. Mm? Yes, but when you use it, how? Every day, every morning. Sometimes we, instead of praying to God, we prefer to touch our phones and then start checking on our people, isn't it? It's just like a reflex, something that you do naturally. Get to your phone. Check the time and then check what the hell's going on. Is somebody die on Facebook? Is somebody is getting married or broke up or whatsoever? We want to know. That's why we're using more or less the social media. But the aims today is not just you guys, you know why you're using it. But I want you guys to realize the impact that it does in our life. Mm -hmm. Because it will give you some frustration looking at people's lives. Even people you don't even know, but the fact you see them, they are happy, they got the body that they like, they are in a relationship, or everything is good with them, and what the fuck's going on with your life? And you feel, what well, miserable. Mm. Yes, we get in there. Hi, everyone. Hi, Yongo. Hi. Don't forget, if you want to... Say a word, feel free. Ask me more the questions because I don't want to have a very long one. This one is very concise, but if you will have a say, do not hesitate still. We're here to share. Hey, 3951 Leon, I don't know who you are, but hello. Yeah. <laughs> hey now. I don't know who you are. That's weird. But welcome to my Mel Noir. I remind you guys, tonight we're going to talk about the effect of social media in our life yeah everyday life and the aim of it is just to question our feelings and see what we can do about it so as i was saying yes the fact that you are looking at your socials just to check on people right yes and now when you finish to look around and sometimes when you scroll you scroll you scroll and then you notice who x your ex is or your frenemies and everything is good in her life and you are struggling with yourself or you see some other posts like in instagram people who having fun because they're traveling around or they have a beautiful body because they've been exercising they've been showing you the way they're doing and somehow it does something in your heart isn't it it does something in your heart because you feel like, is it something that I don't do right? Or why is it always them who have this happiness? Something come up to your mind, isn't it? Let me know if you share the same view. Can we deny this feeling of being envious, jealous, or have this anxiety because everything looks, everyone looks to have fun, to, to be happy, and you are not? You see, some people get congratulated because they have a new job and you're not. New race, new children, getting married, be married, and you are not. All in social media. Your feeling, how do you feel about that? Don't lie to me. Don't say, oh, it's okay, it's fine. Oh, it's good, I'm happy for them. Yes, if you are happy in your own shoes, normally you should be happy for them right but most of the time it's not the case you guys are not happy 
Alors, 3951 Leon, il sait, most definitely, that is true. Come for me, American man. Oh, okay. So you feel the pressure. I mean, we are here in London, by the way. But um, you feel the pressure of your peers, right? Especially your people that you more or less know or follow. Or you have history. And when you see them, they are happy and you are not, you question yourself. And that's where we want, I want you guys to stand, actually. Because it means a lot. Mm-hmm. So, where we at? When I say that we have the feeling of jealousy, of envies, the worst is when we start to compare ourselves to them. Isn't it? And this is where we need to look at. This is where I want to put my focus on. Because naturally, we're going to compare ourselves. Like compare.com. This time, it's face-to-face. -face. Mm -mm. Social media. That's where you have the haters. Yeah, and you have people who poison your life with the bad comments, and sometimes worse, they don't even come in your face. They have fake accounts to put all the bad comments ever, and that disturb you. All these judgmental comments disturb you. One more thing: when those bad comments hmm, disturb you or touch your own feeling, it's not because they are bad. Because everyone has one side good, one side bad. You know that. But the fact that if it does an effect on you, that's why you need to question to yourself. If you question yourself and say that, okay, I will take the example of people that we hate and they have happiness. If your man, your ex is getting married, no, she got married, is in your face. What can you do? How do you feel? Anxiety? No. Upset? Mm. Jealous? Envious? The list is very long. Because naturally you're going to compare yourself and say, oh, she's a bad person, or she doesn't deserve that, or X, Y, Z. But the fact that you're going to put yourself in her shoes where you do not belong anymore, you have a problem. Mm -hmm. Although it's natural to compare yourself with the... With, your ex to see that your situation hasn't changed and her she's happy she's married question yourself and then I will take the other example of the person who see that the person you don't really like and appreciate is traveling the world you see them in Africa in America in Asia China where you at stuck somewhere in France London it hurts and you say I, I wish to have this life the person you don't even know sometimes but the fact that you follow them because you quite like what they do one day he hates you they're having fun and you are not it hurts another example I will have is when you see someone just got a baby or that person always put the baby her family and you do not have a family. You do not have your own child now. Or you're struggling to have a child. And you see others showing their babies every day, everywhere, everywhere. Ah, it hurts your feelings. Envious, jealousy. How do you do to cope with that? It brings the type of frustration, isn't it? <laughs> ah, Miriam. Hi, everyone, education, sportive. Oh, la, la, all of you, hey ho, hey ho. It's really important that we, you guys participate on that as well and see what I mean, because this is what we see every day on social media. And the, in fact that we, and right now, it's no more summertime. It's going to be cold. We will be inside our house, in our bed, by yourself or with your partner, if you're happy with him or single and you will see scrolling on your phone people's life happiness where you at how you how you take it can you be happy for that person to have happiness how can you be happy for somebody else if yourself you are not happy mm, i'm gonna start soon huh? that that is a big issue i want you to follow the 
reflection. And for that, some people have the tendency to compare themselves downwards. What it means is when you compare yourself with people that you consider worse than you. Like for instance, the person that you always don't give the respect. Let's say your uh, one of your old friends that you don't talk to, you don't talk anymore because X, Y, Z. But you know that you're better than her because maybe you're preacher, you you have more money, you 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 have a family. I don't know something like that. And when you see her, she's always on her own. Sometimes. You guys, you feel quite comfortable. And you say, but why is she always posting pictures of her, but never with someone? Is she lonely? And you have a kind of a perfect life for you. And somehow, it reassures you because she's still on the same position. You feel good about yourself to see that she's still single or she's still struggling or she still have the same weight. You compare yourself downward but guess what when you're doing that it doesn't help you you can compare yourself but what do you get at the end of that hmm? a small satisfaction yes but somehow you don't feel like to improve yourself because you see that everyone I'm complaining but look at them they're not better than me so why should I complain actually I'm happy where I am where I'm standing so you don't really make the effort to improve yourself. The feeling can be satisfactory, yes, but what do you do on your next step? Nothing, because somehow you get the comfort of seeing others not moving forward. So somehow you comply to this situation and you stay at the same level. And then you have the other people who compare themselves upward. Mm -hmm. How and what, do, what does it mean? It means that you look at people who are actually who think that they are better than you. That's where the real frustration does come. When you see some people who have a lot of responsibilities, but they're always happy. They're always traveling. You don't even know how they, they cope with life. They're always looking good. How do they do? And that make you reflect on what do you do. And instead of looking at the solution, it hurts. And the way it hurts, it creates frustration, then anxiety, then so on. Am I lying? Am I lying? I don't think so. So when you compare yourself to people who have like the high standard, like let's say those celebrities that we see all the time, Oh, how, let's say the truth. Let's take the example of, um, I don't know, there was one, I, I forgot her name, but I remember the body, who had a baby, Victoria Beckham. Mm, Victoria Beckham. She had several babies, but she always skinny. How does she, how, how does she use pills? What do they have? And then you have Rihanna. She had a baby, but the body is still there. She's just like us at the end. So, we are quite comfortable with the idea that Rihanna looks like all the, any other woman. But when we look at Victoria Beckham, we're still wondering how she does. So how do you feel for both of them? Remember one thing. When it comes to comparison, especially for the body, everyone has his own struggle. When, when we look at celebrities, for instance, who always have the easy life and the, their body looks perfect. We do not live in the same level. Remember that. Be realistic with yourself. It's no point to kill yourself because you want to be like them. Mm -mm. Because you have to work. You have to deal with your everyday, everyday bills, transport. You don't have a driver. You don't have a cooker at home. You don't have a cleaner at home. Everything you're doing by yourself, girl. Of course, it will show some stuff on your face. Because you have to deal with this. And they don't. But at the same time, they're dealing with other type of pressure that you can't have it. 
anxiety maybe they cannot go out they don't have the life that they expect to have one day they don't have any more freedom so what we see through social media may now reflect the real reality and we have to repeat this one to ourselves it's not point to, to look at especially idols like like singers rappers or I don't know who and you want to be the same you have to be the same it's when you are young because when you grow up you start to realize that mm, the expectation is actually changing is getting really hard and maybe I will cope I, I can't do this anymore yes realities when you look at social media when it, in terms of your friends remember one thing they are taking pictures or even videos of four five minutes of the whole day but what happened after those five minutes? Do you know? Do you know she stopped breathing when she, when she took the picture? Do you know? Do you know she's still eating properly after she took the pictures? Do you know? Do you know if she's really happy in, with happy couple? On the picture, it looks good, yeah. On the wedding, oh my God, it was amazing. But then they divorced. But then there is argument that you can't see on the picture. Or oh, she have babies, yeah, but is she really coping? It's nice on the picture, but on everyday life. Does it show when she's struggling, when she has no makeup? Hmm? All of this is to, rem you have, oh no, we have to remember social media is just a, a spot, a highlight of a day. You shouldn't take it for I don't know for your Bible. Now like everyone does that. I must do it. I must follow. No, it's not like that. Because it's a, it's a quite a short moment, you have to come back to your own reality. And I will come to the part where you feel envious. That you see your friends getting married, getting pregnant. You show you even follow her. And you, you want the same. You won't also have a boyfriend, a partner, a husband, or a wife, or a girlfriend. You want that, and you can't get it. So when you see others having it, you question yourself, why am I doing wrong? Why am I? The focus is not there. The focus is definitely not there on what you're doing wrong. It's what I will do. Yes. That's why it comes to, we need to learn to shift our emotion. Mm -hmm. When you see something that gives you some, some feelings, strange feelings, bad feelings, envious, jealousy, you have to train yourself to remind that this is a, a proof that there is something wrong that I need to fix because I should be happy for her and not envious. I can understand if you have a lot of failures in your life. Remember, when we are a baby and we try to learn how to walk, we can stand, but we will fall again, fall again, fall again, fall again. But for how many times? Hmm? How many times does a baby, an infant, fall on the floor? And then stand up again and walk until he run, until he become an adult. How many times do we have to count those? Several times? We, we stop counting. But we know it's happening and we know there is result. The, the question is now is how bad I want to be good. How bad I want to achieve the same result. That's the difference. When I talk about social media, those Instagram and so on, yeah, we feel like there is a competition. Yes, because you show this, I have to show them that I change my house, I move, I do this, I do that, or I lose weight. There is a competition somehow. And that competition creates frustration. Am I lying? 
it's going to be winter. You're going to be on your own. You will, be a you will have a lot of reflection to do on yourself. Myself as well. We all included. But it's just where you have to put your priorities. Instagram, Facebook, it is not your Bible, your new TV, your, your new news. Mm -mm -mm. When you have those feelings, as I said before, we need to shift them. And, but you may ask me, how do you shift that? Because it's quite hard. Yeah? It's painful when you, you see somebody who does what you always wanted to do. And you still can't do it yourself. Frustration. When you see someone losing weight, you saw them before, and you see them today on Facebook, on Instagram, and she did it, it hurts your feeling because you wanted to lose weight as well, and you didn't. It hurts. Traveling, happiness, waiting, blah, blah, blah. The list is long. But you didn't do it it hurts so when it hurts how can I shift it should I keep worrying myself feel sorry for myself what do I do where do I find the strength to change my mind when it's 6 o'clock in the morning when it's 3 a.m. when I'm on my break at work and I see this it hurts me. How can I change this feeling? Should I pray more? Yes, you should pray. If you are religious, you should pray always. But because we are in this life, we must act. But not act, okay, I have to change, you know. Yes, you have to think positive. Be positive. Fuck that. Sorry for the F words. Be positive is not enough. Think positive is the hardest. How do you think? Where should I touch? Where to be strong? I have some tips for you. Mm -hmm. We talk about getting a growth mindset. Have you heard of it? A growth mindset? Do you know what it is? It's on the word anyway. When you say the growth mindset is, you know this anger that you have when you see the social media and that it does a negative effect on you and your behavior, on your, on your mental and everything. That's the gymnastic who has to start with your mind. To do so, you need to see exactly what is the feeling. Because sometimes we have palpitation because we were in shock. We wasn't ready to see this type of new news that your ex getting married and or the girl just had a new car. And you was too much palpitation. It's crazy. Calm down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Breathe out. Think. I feel I'm jealous. I always wanted that. And I don't have it. I never been lucky. There is two things. You never had it. You never been lucky. Lucky, it means you cannot control that part. Forget it. Never had that. Have, it means you can work to get it. It's going to take a time. But you have to change again your way of thinking your way of acting my friend just had a new car and it hurts me what can i do to have it i'm not going to break a car no how can i afford a car no is it is it a competition no so you think about what make you happy for your friend is a car yes but what about for you some people prefer not having a car but have a house or travel or do something but not buying a car. Okay, it's good to have his car. It's nice. It gives you something but that wasn't actually your priorities. You always said you want to buy your own house. Shift your focus. 
the devil is a liar. He wants you to forget about your priorities, what makes you happy. Social media is there, we all know that. Instead, you know that you're supposed to work, but you're still watching Instagram, you're laughing like crazy. Because sometimes it can be funny, you know. But then the time that is funny, you're supposed to do something good for yourself. Did you do it? No. It starts like this. Pay attention of what you see online. Pay attention why is it give you too much emotion because one more time. I said the Bible. Un peuple, and we say in French, un peuple sans vision, c'est un peuple perdu. Which means, I don't know how you can say it in English, but people with no vision, they are lost. Simple as that. Anyone can do, can drive them left, right. They, they, they don't know where they go. They don't know what they want. So they go where the wind feels to go. Wasting their time. Remember Moses, 40 years around the mountain. Wasting your time. Because you don't want to reflect on what you're supposed to do for yourself. The thing with social media, it feels like they actually control our life. If they are controlling our happiness. With, what is your happiness? Because you see them getting married, so you think that you also have to be married. But girl, if you are not ready to settle down. How many people are not ready to settle down? How many weddings I had to go and a couple years later or even six months I heard the divorce or they just don't sleep anymore together or the husband is cheating or she is cheating because of this pressure peers that the society gave it to you through your, your social media? Mm, mm, mm. How many of you are so, yes, I have to have a baby because it's so cute. It's time, it was the age. Yes, the baby, you can do it if you can. But to end up alone, to raise it, because you've been in a hurry to find someone to have a baby, and then you realize that's the wrong dad, and then the baby is struggling, suffering, blah, blah, blah. Uh huh. Because of people's pressure. That's why it is important that you guys remember. The happiness that you see, it may not be yours. Because for you to get what you really want, you need to focus on what you want. What are you already doing? Because most of the time, we don't do much. Talk, 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 talk. But you don't do shit. Procrastination. Oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, where I feel, I think, whoa, 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 whoa. It becomes a rap, a song. And then we forget about it. And next, somebody does better song than you. And song, sing better. And when you see that person singing, then you realize that, damn, that could have been me. But it wasn't you. And it's still not you. I think the social media, we should work it out in a different way. Mm -hmm. You can look at the social media to find, not your happiness though, some people have found it, I don't know how, but to find guidance and motivation and a mentor maybe. You know why? Because sometimes you may not have the right people around you. Let's say you want to be an athlete. Or you, you are an obese person who today you wake up with this challenge, I have to lose weight. You all do the diet, but it's hard. And when you go through Instagram, somehow you find someone who was bigger than you and you can see that he has lost weight through that post. What does he give it to you? You're not jealous. You're actually motivated. You are actually impressed. Like, wow, he did it? So if he did this, it means I can do it. So you use the social media how now to motivate yourself. That's why you have to be in control of what you really want in your life.
So then the direction will flow. Let's say you want to learn how to do the it's like you want how to how to do the the breads for instance box bread whatsoever it's like me I, I i can do mine but i say but how can i make it longer i don't know how to do it and do i have people around me to do it no i have no one who can do it what did i do myself instead of talking and asking begging instagram it's like youtube you check you find i found someone who who, who show properly how to add up more ex more more hair to make it longer that motivate me i show i learn i saw it i tried and it worked through that video so thank you the lady that i can't don't have the name but i use instagram on my own for my own interest when you are focused on what you really want you have the whole world to help you to get through it. But it's how you put your energy, your attention, that's gonna count. If you're focusing too much on what people are doing, what, what, what? it's been a long time going, you are not in control. And you can be shocked to see how happy they are. And you will feel miserable if you're not happy to, to see that news. But if you stay focused on what you really want, the sky is the limit. So as I said before, use the social media for your own interest. Now they have this algorithm that you like something, then everything going to come back to this type of things. It's quite good though. But sometimes you get lost. That's why it's good for you to remember what you want. When, you, when, is, when I was saying that use social media or put your focus on what you're really looking for, sometimes you have nothing in mind. You just want to sp spend some time. But this is where the day will come when you have nothing in mind. You're just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. What you do, you're wasting your time yes you're wasting your time and you put your attention where you shouldn't like on somebody new dance and everyone do the same dance or TikTok, whatever is it really necessary oh it's funny oh but it's a distraction the devil is a liar i use the social media for me to spread the news i'm expecting nothing less nothing more I just feel free to do it. It makes me feel good. I go where there is my happiness. It may not be the same for you, but at least for me, I'm happy. So I want you to have the same. Why should we stay focusing on what others are doing? Why don't we try to learn how they do it? Use the people that you follow to inspire you. Not to gossip. If you keep gossiping on how she looks like, you see the dress she wear, the hair she's supposed to be done, and all that. reflect, how does it make you feel? How do you look like when you, when you have this type of comments? Where are you at? Is it like an adult reflection? Someone responsible. When you're just looking at social media to check on what other people are doing and see if you are better than them or not it's pity pity but if you're looking at people to motivate you and inspire you it changes everything and the world also can see what you are capable isn't it there is this problem when people don't know how to react when they say Okay, I have this idol, I want to be the same, but I can't do it. And then I'm pissed off because everyone now is doing the dumbbell exercise, for instance, and I can't do it. I, I don't have the, the strength or it's too hard. Listen to what you're saying. This is excuses. Because you will have on Instagram people who were the before and the after result. It does exist. Why you keep complaining about what social media does 
if you don't bring your input in that social media why don't you change the game instead of complaining and see people happiness if you see them they're traveling they have a boyfriend they lost weight why don't you find the strength to get inspired by them or only spot what is wrong on that picture oh she should have put some makeup here or who are you hmm? how do you why is it the main purpose of that picture that you to say that the makeup is like this what the fuck hmm? the most important thing is you to be happy but if you are happy by gossiping on other people what type of person are you in 2022 come on people like to like to think that yes yeah, social media is here they, they they put a lot of poison they do this they do that they try to mess up with you are the only responsible for that we are responsible for what our actions when you see people happiness that you are not happy oh i'm fed up to see that because everyone looking good and not looking good so i want to stop with the social media no girl enfin, if you really want to do this do it you're free to do it but what can you do to feel better what can you do yourself to get to move one step forward to your own goals you need to be realistic with what you want so then you write it down the list yes a list of what you want in terms of your your success and see in internet on on social media you have people who are coach you have people who have very good quotations for the day there is people who have testimonies you have brut you have so many different platforms where you can find inspiration but if you spend your inspiration by looking at asses people with breasts people with ass big ass people who got bbl that shows a little bit who you are and that maybe can explain why there is no result that's what i say yeah I will also say for you guys who want to to have a say on the social media avoid to look at people or things that's going to trigger anxiety trigger um, envious you don't need that to fulfill that that bad feelings you don't need that come on it's like people who are toxic in your life do you need them hell no what do you do remove them it's time to clean your Instagram, for instance, do it, do it. So you are, can be sure that you're controlling what you want to see. Even though they will put you something random, be in control. Every time you need to do like a gymnastic in your head, I'm going on Instagram, what I want to see. Okay, oh, it's been a long time I haven't seen my friend. Let's see how she's doing. He's your friend. If she's not your friend of me, she is your real friend. Okay, go ahead. But if your friend is happy, if you're happy with her, you are in the right path. But if your friend is not happy and you are happy with that, girl, ask yourself some question. You cannot be, you cannot rejoice when somebody is unhappy, unless it's your ex, where you know how it goes. When you see the ex going bad, where you feel really good, but somehow, somehow. So as I said, we have to stop. To look at things that's going to be painful for us. And if it's too painful. And it shouldn't be because you should be happy. Then write it down. Your feelings. The emotion that you have. And see where is your priority. And for that. It comes to my point we want to say about. Goal orientated. Mm -hmm. Because you want to be a star. On, on TikTok. Because you want to lose weight, because you want to find a man, because uh, so many, so many questions, yeah, so many uh, aim targets. Be realistic with what you want. Go step by step. Open your eyes on the world of social media. Where can you find inspiration? You go to the search. 
if you say God, put God and see what, what is there. Look at the hashtag and see what is there. You want a quotation who every day is going to give you strength? See somewhere on, on social media. But you have to be in power. You say, uh, you have to empower uh, your desire, your, your, what you want inside of your heart. To say, well, I'm going out on social media is to do this, this, and this. Be specific. If you see yourself spending too much on social media, there is somewhere that you're wasting your time. You're supposed to do something every day. I'm sorry. But I'm talking for the plus 40s, actually, or plus and mid-35, mid mature people. We can't spend our time watching Instagram when you have a life to build, a house to to buy, a big travel, I don't know, something like that. You cannot waste your time looking at people's life at this age. You're supposed to do something. So that's why when you before you do something, you need to have a goal, you need to have a vision. Yes. Today, I've, it feels like tonight, the main focus is what? The vision at the end of that. Yes. Have a vision. Have a goal. You need to know what you want to do in your life. But there is still some people who are still searching. Okay. If you're still searching, search good. Look very good. But with at least a direction. For that, you need to know yourself. What you like. You need to fulfill what you really like. If you like walking, it means you like the nature. You, you, like, you may like traveling. So then you look something on Instagram or wherever you can in social media to see travels. Then you may look at a destination that you never thought of. Could be a new goal. It can be even a restaurant, you know. I saw some people posting restaurants and stuff, reviews. Oh, it's interesting. Let me see. And where is it? In Lisbon. Okay, I'm going to write down the address. That would be my next goal. So I'm fulfilling my head of new projects through the social media. And that's going to shift my energy towards it. You see how you can gain control of your social media? I want to become a model, but I don't know how to pose. Check on social media, modeling, and see, do the comparison, do a bit of studies through the social media. You will feel fulfilled, busy. You don't even have time to gossip because you're doing something you like, because you're working towards something you like. And then the other tips is remember you are the superhero here. Mm -hmm. You have nothing to envy to envy on social media because every one of us we are single. We are single human being. We are all going to die. Yes. So for the time being you have to be the master of yourself. You have to be in control for your emotion, your success, your failure is on you. So you cannot wait on what other people will do for you to follow. We have followers, we have leaders, but where are you? Be your own boss, at least on social media. Choose what you want to do. See the effect on you. Be in control. Your reality is only in you. They will never know that. I can put a picture like this. I smile. But you don't know if I cried a couple of minutes ago, yesterday, a week before. You don't know. Everyone has his own rhythm. It can be good today for her or bad for her and the opposite for you. So concentrate in your life, on your life. Concentrate on that and that's it. What is it is for you guys to feel better, although you have your goals ready, 
you know where you want to go, this is the social media. But sometimes you have to let it go. It's not like you punish yourself that like, I don't want to go on social media anymore because it's wasting my time. But what do you do during that time? Uh -huh. That's why I advise you guys, if you want to remove yourself from social media because you need to, to breathe, find something else to do to complement this lack of uh, media. Find a new hobby. Like it can be go for a walk, the nature, dream by walking, walking even down the street. See something new. You will never see it when you are at home in your chair, in your bed, looking, scrolling, uh, start dreaming through your phone. Go and see what is out there. You have to leave a place for your own dream. You need to fulfill it by acting. You like decoration, you want to redecorate your house. Instead of spending your time looking at hashtag bedroom, I don't know, the living room, je sais pas. Go to Roi Merlin. Go to Ikea. Go to Habitat. Go even to Selfridges, I don't know. Go and see and touch what you can do. And then when you know more or less the prize, when you know more or less the... You will have these, these things because you're fulfilling. You go out there and you check it. And one thing will lead you to something else, to another thing else. And then you have the whole picture. Your vision is clear. And now you can go. So for you guys to feel happy again through your social media... You have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. You have to remember one thing. Social media, for me, is equal to social comparison. She's doing good, I'm doing bad. She's married, I'm single. This and that. Fair enough. I need to think, okay, how do I feel? Bad, I am happy, yes. But if I'm not happy, what does it mean? Does it mean I'm jealous? I'm envious? No, me, I have some excuses. It gives you this impression of unfulfillment. Then there is a problem. Sometimes, you guys, we cannot be happy for somebody else because we cannot separate our lack of achievement and their achievement. It's not because they achieve or they succeed to be married that you're supposed to be married as well. Mm -mm. We need to separate ourselves. We are different. We are all different. We must learn to be happy for others. When we are happy for others, it means a lot. It may especially need say that you are in peace with yourself. That's why you can accept people's happiness. But when you are not in peace with yourself, can you accept the happiness of somebody else? You know the answer. And you know how to work it out. And for you to work it out, as you have right questions and do a plan and be pragmatic, focus on it. Because it means you have to start to get the mindset hmm, ready to change and shift this bad emotion. The mindset of growth. I spoke about it late before, so if you want, you can review this one. And for this, you need to choose your own adventure. Yes, it's an adventure to see what I like, what makes me excited, what makes us excited about something. And to nourish this feeling, you can use the social media for that. But if you try to, to have more power on it and you decide to remove the social media in your life, do something physically to replace it. Not sleep on it and regret it. Voila, I'm very glad. I hope this, um, this manoir help you a lot or just highlight some few things. How do you feel? After that, you can leave me a comment. You can check as usual 
on my DM and then we can have a private conversation. But we are here to help. So good night and I see you Friday in French. Bisous.